Hi, I'm Sue from Garden Moxie. One of my favorite things to do is visit other people's gardens. It's a great opportunity to see how gardeners group plants together and how they decorate their space. And one of my favorite gardens to visit is Chanticleer. It's located 30 miles outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in the United States. It's filled with handcrafted garden furniture, unique color palettes, and interesting plant combinations. It was during my first visit to Chanticleer where I first saw how they use ceramic pots filled with water to create these unique floating floral displays, like the one you see in this photo. In this video, I'm sharing with you how I create a Chanticleer inspired floating floral display for my patio. I use black pond dye in the water. This is something I first saw when I visited the water lily ponds at Longwood Gardens. My display also uses a large pond insert that I fit into a large ceramic pot. You can create these floral displays using any size pot. And if you don't have a waterproof insert, you can plug up the hole in the bottom of the pot using any kind of sealant or caulk. All you need is a container that can hold water. I purchased my pond insert at a local home improvement store in the garden section and it fits perfectly inside this large ceramic pot that I had. All you need to do is fill the pot with water. I'm just using my garden hose to fill up my pot. I fill it right to the edge of the container. The next step is adding the pond dye. This dye doesn't harm plants and doesn't harm wildlife. That's important because I have squirrels on the patio that use this as their drinking fountain. It does stain, so I make sure to wear rubber gloves. You really have to be careful because if you get the dye on your fingers, it's gonna take a while for it to come off and you definitely don't wanna get it on your clothes. I just use the bottle top and add the dye to the water. Just follow the instructions on the bottle. There's no need to mix the dye into the water. It spreads automatically as you can see in this picture here. Using a pond dye isn't required but it does prevent algae from growing in the container. And it also creates a really reflective surface for your floral display. I prefer to use the dye because I like the way it looks. It kind of creates a great blank canvas for your display. Like most creative things, there's no hard and fast rules here. You can use any leaves and flowers that are available to you. The one thing I will share is that the lighter weight the foliage, the easier it is for it to float on the water. Sometimes really heavy leaves will have a tendency to sink in. One of my favorite things to use are hosta leaves because they actually look pretty good for a few days after they've been cut. Here I'm just working my way around the container to create my first design. I overlay the edge of the pot to help keep the hosta leaves in place so they don't float out of position. I thought the blue color of these hosta leaves matched the ceramic pot perfectly. I set a bright white Casablanca lily right in the center. I tried playing around with some really bright chartreuse colored leaves from my Aralia Cordata Sun King plant. The leaves are such a great happy color and it happens to be a wonderful deer resistant plant that's great for a woodland border. So as you can see, it's fun to just kind of add little touches of foliage to build up your design.
One of my favorite flowers in these floating displays are the blooms from my Rosa Sharon trees. They remind me of a tropical flower and they're light enough that they float really nicely on the surface of the water. So after playing around with the hosta leaves, I decided the Sun King leaves would make a great, excellent border around the edge of the pot. I line the leaves along the edge of the container and overlap them to create a circle. I added some Rose of Sharon blooms to float on top of the water. I found some perennial sweet peas and little individual blooms from some flax plants that I added for little color touches. But my final design ended up using just the Sun King leaves and the Rosa Sharon blooms. I kind of created a little center display, like a little star pattern using the um, Sun King leaves. And I just plopped one of the Rosa Sharon flowers on top of it. And there you have it. Creating a floral floating display is a fun way to display the flowers from your garden just like they do in Chanticleer. I'd love to see your designs if you end up trying this. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching.